Hey y'all, this your girl Kitty Cam and welcome to the Kitty Cam vlog. How is everyone doing? I hope y'all having a wonderful evening. Today we're going to be doing a reaction of Nephew Tommy Prank Calls. I know y'all been waiting for this. I know I have too and I really enjoy them and I know y'all enjoy the uh, prank calls as well. But before we get started, I want to say thank you all so much for love and support. We finally reached 3,000 subs. And I am extremely grateful for you guys. You guys are amazing. And it's just, oh my goodness. It's like, <laughs> I'm just so happy and stuff because, you know, we, we, we did this together. You know what I'm saying? Without y'all, I don't, I don't know what, what I do. You know what I'm saying? So... I'm going to keep on putting these videos out there for y'all so that way, you know, whatever y'all going through or someone make you mad or anything like that, I'm going to be putting out some good content for y'all so that way, hopefully, I can make y'all day, you know, better as much as possible. But before we get started, y'all, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And let us get right into it. Let's go. Hello. Oh. Hello, um, well, I must have the wrong number. Um, I'm uh, my name is Marcus. I'm trying to find Bree. Is is Bree available? Uh, nah, man. She she's probably at work. Oh, okay. All right. Well, listen. I'm I'm li I live in um I live on the 18th floor. Me and some of the guys on the 18th floor are throwing throwing a party uh, on the rooftop. So we're gonna invite Bree. I've never seen you before. I didn't know you. So you live in the building too? Yeah, 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 man. I live in 19A with her. Yeah, that's my girl. What's up? Wait, when, when's the party? Ah, uh, okay. The party's Friday night. All right. So, yeah, well, like I said, we was, we were reaching out, and, um, you know, we wanted to invite. I never, you know, I've seen Bree coming in out of the building, and, um, and uh, you know, the doorman told me that he thinks she lives on the 19th floor somewhere. So, um, so we're having a, um, we're having a, a, a panty party on Friday night. What? Panty party. <laughs> yeah, yeah. On 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 the rooftop, we're having a, a panty party. You know, we got food and and drinks and all that kind of stuff. So, I, I was wanting to see if she wanted to come out. So, so that that's what you do, Marcus. That's what y'all do on the 18th floor. Y'all just hit up folks and, and try to get dudes, girls, come to a panty party. A panty party. <laughs> we have a party once once every you know once every once a quarter. We we throw a party. So yeah, you know, well, keep, this, keep, keep up this bullshit, bro. It's gonna be the last. Party you throw in? What's the <laughs> matter with you calling me after hey, my hey, girlfriend? Hey, 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 I'm Marcus, but let's just calm down. Like I said, all I'm trying to do is invite Bree to, um, to, you know, to a party. Now, well, Bree ain't coming to no panty party. What the, what the matter with you? Okay, so let, let's let, let me ask you this, sir. I call for Bree. I don't know nothing. Yeah, about. and you got Gary. I don't know, what the, what the well, I don't know. I don't know nothing about no Gary. Okay, so Bree will have to let me know that that she doesn't want to come to the party. But um, I'll, I, since I thought I had the right number for Bree, what I'll do is find out how to get in touch with Bree directly. Because once again, I didn't know I was getting in contact with a Gary. I thought I was getting in touch with Bree. Yeah, yeah, you're gonna be worth much to Bree, man. When I cut that off, who the f are you to call me? That's my girl. That's my girl. Okay, so it's your girl. All right, but like I said, I didn't know she had a boyfriend or anything. But that doesn't stop me from asking Bree if she wants to come to the party. <laughs> yeah, well, she ain't single. She's not single. The only the only thing single in 19A is that single. <laughs> that's the only thing that's single up in 19A. Okay, so let me yeah. ask you this, man. How long have you and Bree been together? Can I ask Don't you worry about what the f I am with my girl. Oh. Who the f yeah. are you? Hey, I think Dang. I think Bree can make her own decision. Or if she want to come to the party, I just call her directly. I just got the wrong number mixed up. That's all it is. No, you got the right number, Marcus. You got the you got the right number and the wrong mother. <laughs> hey, dude. So are you trying to say Bree can't make up her mind on if she want to come to the party or not? Bree is all. She can make up. She can make up her mind if she wants to. I think she has made it up, Marcus. I think she has. Mm. Well, how do you know that? I haven't even asked her to come to the panty party. Listen, I'm at work right now. Don't come and leave with this bull. I've been in that building for years. I've never heard of no panty party before. Are you going to ask her to come to the panty party or do I need to ask? You, Marcus. My girl ain't coming to no damn panty party. 
right, all right. I see what I got to do now. I got to go to the doorman and get Bree's number and ask her to come because you're not going to pass on the message that I want her to have. Let me, let me tell you something. You better not come to no door, man. You better not come to 19-8. That's my girl. Stay the f*** away from her. So let me ask you this. Damn. Are you ashamed of, of Bree's panties? Do you not want her? Do you not want us to see her in the, in, in, the, in her panties? I mean, what is it? Mother f- don't worry about me or my girl or her f- panties. You got me? Okay. All right, man. I'm at, I'm I at work, mother f- lucky you caught me at work. I know you at work, and I, because somebody told me you were at work. You know who told me you were at work, Gary? Who the f- told you I was at work, mother? F- no, Bree told me you were at work. This is nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey <laughs> Morning Show. You just got mother. F- f- I, oh, what the? F- <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 Gary, 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 listen to me. This is nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Your girl, Brianna, got me to prank phone call you. This is a prank. Damn. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you all right, man? He's a little salty. See, you all right? Man, mm-hmm. I'm in the mm-hmm. room closet right now. Cutting your <laughs> mouth. <laughs> man, get your out of the broom closet, man. You man, ready? Like, come <laughs> on, bro. Why are you, why are you doing me like that at work, man? I need this job. I got bills to pay. <laughs> Oh, man, your girl got me to prank you, man. She said, you got to prank my boyfriend. All you got to do is say something about me, and he going to go straight crazy. Oh, my God. Get the f*** out of here. Come on, bro. Why you gotta... I love y'all so, man. Why y'all got to do me like that? <laughs> and I got one more question, man. What is the baddest, and I mean the baddest, radio show in the land? That's the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Come on, man. You know that. <laughs> Hello? Hello. Uh, I'm trying to reach a uh, uh, Mr. I think that's the name. Yeah, this is this. Is, what's this in regard to? Uh, this, uh, this about an uh, air conditioning unit. You did some work uh, for us over on uh, my house over off Street. Do you remember coming out there last week? Uh, yeah, yeah, I remember. Yeah. Right, my uh, it was a lady there. My wife. She let you in to come. Uh, right, right. Is there, is there a problem? Is there a problem? The air's not cooling or what? No, 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 no. It's cooling. Everything. Matter of fact, I want to tell you uh, uh, that you did a you did a good job. But uh, I got a question for you now. When you was at the house and you was uh, working on the air conditioner out there in the backyard, did you did you happen to go on the side of my house and pull out and use the bathroom right there on the side? Did you go over there and, and you do number one on the side of my house? Say what? Did you? Uh, <laughs> And went and used the bathroom on the side of the house. Hold, 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 wait a minute. I did what now to what? <laughs> I p- right, you, 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 p- and you did number one over on the side of the house. Now, is is that something that you did? <laughs> Say, man, look, uh, you, you got to understand something, man. All right, now, I, I apologize if that did happen, but you got to understand something. You know, we down south, man, and... You know, we talking 85, 90, 95 degree weather, man. I got to stay hydrated. I got to drink a lot of fluids. So, you know, with me being the age that I am, I have to drink a lot of fluids and attend to pass through. Uh, that, look, now, once, once again, I said I apologize. I understand all that. But you know what? I can't accept no apology like that when I got a man that got on the side of my house and then... Oh, and man, now I'm apologizing to you. And you coming <laughs> off on me like that? You, you done... You done in front, on the side of my house in front of my wife. I, now, look here, young man. Now, if your wife saw me evidently, she need to see some type of because you evidently ain't doing some you know Who, the Who you think you talking to? Well, your wife watching me anyway do my work. Well, is she that hard up that she got to look at the old man? <laughs> look, 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 all I know is I don't want no man at my house, in the house, side of the house, backyard, nothing. Well, you should have been there. Hey, I, look, man, let me tell you uh-uh. something, dog. Let me tell you something. I'm the only person at my house. You understand well, me? Evidently, you ain't right if she out there looking at me. Look here, son. <laughs> I'm a professional, okay? I do my job, and I take my job with pride, okay? It's not being professional. If there's something that I did, that's that water running through me. Mm. All right? Okay, now, but you don't, you don't at no other man's house. And you at my house, and my wife sitting there looking at you out the window. Now, I got a problem with that. Well, what you need to have a problem with is your wife looking at me and if that's what I did. You know what? You need to be at home and give her something to look at other than looking at me. You don't tell me what I need to do about my wife. Now, you don't go to another man. 
Man, you know what? I'm mm-hmm. about to lose. All right. Now I tell you go, you what. You're gonna make you go make, make me lose the cookie. Right, let me let me get my that guy. Let me get my book. That's all. Yeah, I got you, you, you get, right here. I got you, you damn right. right. And I'm gonna. I, I, I you what? Right yeah. That's yeah, I'm that's fine. I'm gonna show you what it is. You oh. you don't at another man's house. You don't do that. And people, my wife looking out the window, and I bet you knew that them blinds was open. Young man, nah, you did, you did, you did me real upset with these accusations. All right, now look, you had, you had, what is the street? Nah, I, you are, you, you know where I'm at. You, out there, I will show you what the is. I want you to bring your ass back over nah, here on Phillips. I know exactly what you said. You did y'all on that, on that, on that go, go on uh, street. I'm gonna come over there, and I got something for your ass, y'all. I got something for your ass. Now, Who you think? Me disregard my professionalism, and I'm gonna come show you what being is about. Look, man, what you don't do is at another man's house, and that's what you did, and you know it ain't called for. Now you could have held that. I apologize, man. I had to go. I told you I drank a lot of fluids in this hot heat, man. So what else do you want me to do? I want you to keep your fluid till you get to the service station down the street, but not in my backyard side of the house and my wife looking out the window. Man, <laughs> you and what you talking about. If I did, I apologize. If you can't accept it, then the hell with it. Look at so you. You're going to me off and make me do something up in here. I'm telling you, you now. What you to do, man? I done told you. I done apologize to you, and I will come over there and kick your okay? No, you ain't. Damn. I tell you, you'll do what? Let me tell I you something. Kick your young Cause judging from the age of your wife, your wife is young, and I know he's young. You can't deal with no old school. I'll kick your young. You go, you go get your whooped today. You hear me? You go get. Let, let me tell you. Street two, I'll come your young. Let me tell you, I got one more thing to say to you. Is you listening to me? Speak, speak, damn it. This is nephew Tommy. This is nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. You just got pranked by your boy named. Hey, man. Hey, man. Now you know what? I'm gonna get with his. He know I got heart palpitations. Hey, I don't need this type of in my life, man. <laughs> He said, man, my boy be out there fixing air conditions and heaters all day. He said, man, let me tell you something. He said he'd be frustrated to begin with. He said, begin my call. He, he said, know me- it, man, because I got nine or ten more I still got to do today. <laughs> Damn. Hey, man, you all right? Man. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm all right now, nephew. I'm all right now, nephew. <laughs> nephew, Tommy, <laughs> you and that Steve Hall are some damn fools in the morning. I listen to y'all cats every in the morning, man. I don't know how in the hell. I sit back riding laughing. And how y'all get people, and y'all done got me with the same. <laughs> wow. Oh, man. I enjoy y'all show, man. Y'all keep up the good going work. I appreciate it, man. I got one more question to ask you, man. What is the baddest, I'm talking about the baddest radio show in the land? Well, you know, the Steve Harvey <laughs> Morning Show. <laughs> oh, man. That was funny. Oh, Hello? Hello, who is this? Miss Glenda, who is this? This Benji, I'm I'm calling. Is, is, is Miss Purvis there? Um, no, she's not here right now. But this is her daughter. Um, is there a problem? Uh, no. This 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 Benji. This Mama uh Mama Lois nephew. Who, who oh. is this again? This Belinda. This you know, um Mama, Mama Lois. Mama, Mama Lois, your ain't it? Ain't it? Correct. Mama Lois and Miss Purvis' sisters. Okay, I'm Benji. I'm 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 her nephew from the other side of the family. Uh, is is Miss Purvis? Is she? Is, is your mama making the, the 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 dressing? Yeah, she's making enough for about forty five people. Um, we actually, um, this was discussed about a month ago. Damn. Right, y'all on the y'all. We they had the um the conference call. Okay, now listen. What what reason why they they got me to call? What's wrong? Oh, uh, okay. They not gonna they not gonna need her to do the um to do the dress. And why wouldn't they need her to do the dress? She been making it for ten years. We just we just discussed this. So what do you mean? They they say that they got somebody down here that's gonna do the dress, especially since y'all traveling. Y'all ain't got to bring it, you know, uh, right. and be traveling with it. But they got somebody gonna do the dress. Okay. Well, first of all, who are you? You're you're Benji. What is your name? That was not my name, Benjamin, but they call me Benji. But, 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 uh, uh, like I say, uh, I'm on the other side of the family. I ain't on y'all's side. Okay, well, I'm still trying to figure out why the f- are you calling me? 
because she's been making the dressing for 10 years, like I said. And, I mean, it's been discussed, so I don't even know why, why you're calling me. I don't even know you. Uh, okay, <laughs> well, what I'm trying to explain to you just right here is that they got some, y'all ain't got to worry with bringing the dressing. They got somebody going to bring, they got somebody <laughs> down here that's going to cook it. So, in other words, you know, if you can tell Miss Purvis, she ain't got to worry about the dressing this year. Oh, so you want me to tell my mama, after she's been making dressing for 10 years, that y'all say, you, y'all ain't worried about it. She shouldn't have to make this year because we driving there. We drive every year. So I'm not going to do that to her. So, I mean, I don't, I don't even know who you are to be calling me anyway. Why isn't somebody calling me that I know regarding this? Okay, okay. You Glenda, right? I am, Glenda. Uh, all right, listen, let me say this, because I, I don't mind saying what, what everybody thinking, but but most people don't want to say. Let me just say this right here. Really what's going on is this right here. A lot of people in the family, you know, don't really, don't, don't really like Miss Purvis dress. <laughs> <laughs> Benji, Benjamin, who the f*** are you supposed to be? Let me explain something to you. Uh-oh. My mama going to make this dressing. You going to eat that And we ain't bringing none on with us. So you can tell your family that I said that. Do you understand me? No, I, I, I mean, I, I, first of all, you got to understand that I'm bringing news that, that, that people done, done voted on, and this is what everybody want to do. Don't nobody well, want well, why didn't they call? We had a meeting. My mama make the dressing. She been making it 10 years. Ain't nobody been saying nothing. And guess what? When I'm up in the house, nobody better not be walking up and through there talking about my mama either. And y'all go eat the Okay, but see right there. Why, why, if people don't like the dressing, Glenda, why does you want to make su- submit everybody to having to eat it if they don't like it? You don't eat That's all I know. I don't know you are calling me no Well, I don't know no Benjamin. Benji. Because I was going to have my brothers whooped 
Then just Y'all play too much. Let's go, Ken. Hello? Hello, I'm trying to reach a yard. Carmen, please. This is she. Hi, Carmen. My name is Keith. Keith, I'm calling you from Insurance Group. Oh, hi. How are you? Good. You and your husband, uh, what is it? Uh, Harvey? Harvey, is that right? Yes, yes, it's Harvey. Okay, you guys actually put applications and actually went in and got your physicals done for life insurance, right? Yeah, yeah, that's correct. Okay, I actually uh, am calling you from the insurance group. I have you all's lab results and everything as far as uh, your physicals and uh, blood tests and things of that nature. Is there any way I could possibly talk to both of you guys at the same time, you and Harvey? Is that possible? Um, well, sure. He, he's at work right now, um, but I can get him on the phone. Okay. It, it, it would be, uh, be kind of easy if I kind of explain everything to both of you guys at the same time, if, that, if that's okay. Okay. Is something wrong? Uh, no, nothing's wrong. I mean, I, I think I need to just try to bring a few things to you guys' attention, but I think, you know, after that, it's pretty much you guys' uh, decision on what you do. But I just wanted to let you know a few things about, you know, the, the results and things of that nature, life insurance, the whole nine yards, okay? Oh, okay. Well, hold on. Let me see if I can get him on the phone. <laughs> Hello? Hey, babe. Hey, sweetheart. Um, look, I got the insurance people on the line. They want to try to get both of us on the phone, uh, to talk to us about the insurance stuff. Oh, cool, uh, cool, cool, cool. Good, good. Hey, Harvey, how you doing? This is Keith. Keith from uh, Insurance Group. How are you? Hey, good. What's happening, Keith? Good, good. Listen, um, I want to give you guys a call and kind of follow up. You guys did physicals and uh, right. blood tests and the whole nine yards, and I want to give you guys a call. It's kind of better if I talk to um, both of you guys at the same time. So do you have a minute that we could actually use to uh, kind of get some of this information out to you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm fine. I'm on a little break right now. I'm good. Okay, great. First of all, we've gotten all your, your lab results back, everything. And I, I kind of got a few questions for you guys that, uh, that I'm a little puzzled on. How, how long have you guys actually been married? Um, about well, we've been together years. about three, yeah. three years. Okay, now, prior to being married three years, how long did you guys know each other before you got married? Oh, uh, what you say, babe? About five and a half, five, six years? Yeah, about six years. Okay. You guys have been knowing each other pretty close to nine years now. Yeah. All together, yeah. yeah. Okay. Are you actually from the same hometown? Do you grow up in the same hometown? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we grew up. Uh, I mean, it's, I, I'm, I'm sorry, is this question, in, I mean, is this about the insurance or? Well, I mean, there's a few things that's, that's actually uh, puzzling, Carmen, that we need to. <sighs> this this, this is some news I, I actually didn't want to bring you guys, but I, I mean, we have to, I have to actually give you this news. Looking at our records, looking at all the test results, and, and let me be the first to tell you that we run these results over and over and over, trying to make right. sure we are completely 115, 20% right, okay? What's the problem with the test? Well, looking at our test, guys, Harvey, uh, Carmen, it, it's indicating that you guys are related. <laughs> and nine times out of ten, <laughs> you, are, you guys are siblings. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what? Hold on, man. What? I, and, and I, I understand the shock. It took me. It took everything I had to, to make this phone call. I did not want to make it. But looking at our records, and we went over oh, these records oh, over oh, and over, and, and and the blood work tells us that you guys are actually siblings. Oh, man. Don't make no Are you serious? Ma'am, I'm, I'm actually, I'm very serious. Wife, you know I, that, I would not, right? this is not a, this is not a laughing matter, not a joking matter. You know, I, like I said, I did not want to call with this information. Well, you did make the call, man. Look, you need oh, to go this back. I, I don't know what you need to, to go back and, and, and double check your records or something because oh, this, 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 you've been married three years. Three Check with the lab, man. Can you check with the lab and like call us back I, and let I, us know they made a mistake? You know what, Harvey? I, and I and I and I knew those questions would come up, and we we went over it. We went over it and over it and over it. Uh, but y'all need to go over it again because oh, that, that, that don't make no well, damn sense. Hold, 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 hold on, baby. I got this. You make the call, and this got to be wrong. So what you need to do is make another call and call the lab and call us back and let us know that you either. So they made a mistake of something. Oh, you talking about me and my wife? Uh, and I understand it, Harvey. Harvey, let me ask you this: Is it possible? Hell. You know, and this is just a, a question: yeah. Is it possible that your dad and maybe her mom maybe knew each other at some point? And what the? Hey, f what the f you say about my mom and dad? <laughs> <laughs> 
that, that's some straight <laughs> Look, you need to have, go back and do whatever you need to do. But I'll tell you what, you say some like that again, I tell you, my baby's going to be coming down there and beat your for saying some yeah. like that. Hey, hold, hold, hold on, baby, hold on, baby. Baby, baby, hold on, baby, I got this Hey, hold on, hold on, I got it, baby, I got it, baby, I got it. How the f*** you gonna call me with this? Where you from? I don't know where the f*** you from, but people do like that, but that ain't all I'm doing, sir, is bringing you the results. Why don't you bring me the results in person, and I bet I'll whoop your That's what I'm talking about, beat Hey, sir, even if you beat the messenger, at the end of the day, that's still your sister. At the end of the day, I don't whoop your Look, I don't care what the f*** you talking about, not, he ain't my damn brother. Hold on, I, 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 I got it. I'm gonna find out where the f you are, whatever cubicle you in. He gonna call me talking about we f brother and so this my wife. I understand that, sir. But somewhere down the line, somebody made a mistake, and you guys, a brother and sister, got married. I'm not at fault for that. Well, let me tell you this. Don't you make a mistake of calling either one of these numbers again in your life. Sir, I got one more right test result I do need to get. Oh, uh, you got more test results. Okay, hold on, hold on. What you been talking about, Ben? What else you got to say now? That's gonna be worse than this. The only other test result I have, ma'am, is that this is nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. You just got pranked by your girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, I told you ain't like her. <laughs> oh, wait, she went out. I told you. Oh. Hey, I got one more thing I got to ask both of y'all. What is the baddest, and I'm talking about the baddest radio show in the land? Steve Harvey Morning Show. Run it, cat. Dang, that was funny. Uh, I'm trying to reach Carmen, please. Oh, who's calling? Uh, this is the hairstylist, Lorenzo. Oh, great, great. Hey, we were waiting for you. Hold on a second, I'll get her. Hello? Hi, is this, is this Carmen? Yes. Hi, how are you? Good. Great, listen, um, this is the hairstylist. I'm supposed to be there to do your hair for the wedding. Hey, are you lost? Uh, no, I do have a bit of, uh, just, there's something that has come up and I kind of need to discuss some things with you. W are you kidding me? Let me ask you something. Hey, you what, know, wait, you know I'm getting married in four hours, right? I do know. I do know. Let me ask you this. What time actually is the wedding? Is it at five or six? The wedding is at five. Okay. Um, what have you done to your hair so far? Nothing. You have the hair. I'm waiting for you to put weave in my, on my head. Right. Um, oh, God, dear. No, yes. you're on your way, right? This is a joke. No, this is not a joke. I've, got, I've come oh, up. Mama, I've, find, tell Kim to come here. I I don't have a stylist today. You came highly recommended, and I've already given you a deposit. You you should be on your way. I do understand that, darling. I don't mind giving you your deposit back. I'm, I'm no, that's no, that's not what I want. I need you here to do my hair. I have no one here to do my hair. I, I've already paid you. I understand this, dear. Calm down. Listen, this is what I want to do. Okay, <laughs> I do have someone that I can send there that's going to do an outstanding job for you. Okay, but I'm not. I've, I, I've Got into a spat with Oliver, and I just I, I what? It is it's it's a very. Who the hell is Oliver? <laughs> Oliver is my friend, and we've gotten. Are into you a, kidding me? Well, it's been a serious, serious, serious blow up. This is the most important day of my life, and you're not coming to do my hair. You're not taking care of your business because you've gotten into a fight with your boyfriend. Listen, I'm not going to go back and forth with you about this. I've been oh arguing with him. God. All, I have argued with him all night. I'm not going to go back and forth and argue with you as well. You don't have to argue with me. What I need is for you to be here. I understand that, and I'm going to send someone there in you my... You are the most unprofessional stylist I have ever met in my life. I cannot even believe you're doing this. Listen, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to deal with you on a professional level. Oh, but okay? you're not, because you're not here. I understand that, and I'm, just, I'm not trying to, 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 to rain on your parade at your all. Your professionalism went out the window when you called to say that you couldn't make it because you were in an argument with your boyfriend. What I'm not going to do is go back and forth with you. Mama, somebody <laughs> to find Kim. Find, um, tell her to come. Where is everybody? Mama, please get Kim to the phone. Oh, Lord. Listen, what have you done to your hair so Nothing. Far? Okay, has it been washed? Yes. Okay, so it's just waiting. Is that what's going on? Yes, that's what's going on. <laughs> have you been done, Have you been under the dryer at all? No. Okay, so is it still damp? <laughs> Why are you asking me questions? You're wasting I'm time. I'm trying to get some. When I bring, when I send someone in, I want to send them in there. Yes, that, I'm sitting here with wet hair. Has your hair, has your makeup been done yet? No, I'm waiting for you to do my hair. <sighs> I cannot believe this. Why are you asking me these questions? 
<laughs> hold on, I'll, please hold on one second. Oliver, I'm not going to go. I'm, Oliver, I'm not. Oh, my God. I'm not going to sit this and discuss is, this with you. This is crazy. I'm not going this to discuss it ridiculous. with you now. Let me take care of the client. I'm not going. Hello. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Listen, is there any way you could possibly push the wedding back to seven? Oh. You are crazy. You want me to change my time because you're in an argument with your boyfriend? Listen, th this is the first you, time. This is, you are the most unprofessional stylist I've ever met in my life. And trust me, darling, I will put the word out about you. No, 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 hold, hold, you, hold, hold, hold. I will make sure that you never, ever do business again. Wait a minute now. What you're not going to do is oh, put no, the word out. Oh, no, you don't curse at me. You're not going to, you're not going to put the word You're my day. I understand that. You have no reason to be mad. I'm the one that should be upset. It's my day. Day. You're not going to talk to me like this either. I can talk to you any kind of way I want to. You call ruining my day. So you, hold on a second. See, you got this talking crazy to me, Oliver. And I'm not going to go with it. And I'm not, what I'm not going to do is sit and let some talk to me crazy. Oh, I'm, no, you didn't call me a I'm not going to sit here and let you talk to me. Oh, you know what? I wish you were coming to this church. I got your Listen, I'm not going to sit here and go back and forth with you. Now, i got someone I can send in there to get your hair done. Do you want it or do you not? Who are you sending? I am sending, uh, listen, I will be sending my assistant. And she does, she washes hair. She, she's been instructed what to do. Don't worry, she'll get it together. Do you want me to let a <laughs> shampoo girl style my hair for my wedding? Look, do you want... Are you kidding me? Oliver, please! <laughs> no, you need to be talking to me, not Oliver. I understand. Listen, d let me take the raise your voice and... Oliver Don't right raise now. Your voice at me. I can do whatever the hell I want to. Look, this is my you have ruined my wedding day. No, I have not. I'm trying to get your wedding day together. Now I'm going to send this young shampoo girl to do my hair. Cynthia is very good. She will be there at five o'clock. We will have you ready. My wedding starts at five o'clock. <laughs> I, I don't know what to say. What you need to be saying is you're on your Way. I'm gonna. Cynthia would be on. I don't oh. want Cynthia to do my hair. I didn't pay Cynthia to do my hair. I paid you to do my oh, hair. I'm and if you to... have to bring Oliver with you, you need to come on. Oliver, do you want to go? Oh, oh my God. <laughs> do you want to just go with me? <laughs> okay. Listen, I have one more thing I need to say. You don't have to say to me. The only thing you need to be saying to me is that you and Oliver are on your way. You are about to ruin the most important day of my life. I am not about are to ruin... Are you on your way, yes or I'm, no? I will be... Are you on your way, yes or no? <laughs> yes! And I have one more thing I need to say before... What do you want to say? Uh, do, uh, do, listen, don't, don't, don't come for me. Boy, you better spit it out. <laughs> this is Nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Oh you just God. got pranked by all your bridesmaids. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I am going Ooh. to kick their... I don't believe they did this to me. That's why I can't find those heifers. <laughs> oh, and I'm kicking your <laughs> too, Tommy. <laughs> did they get you, baby? Did they get you? This was not funny. Not today. This was the last thing I needed today. You know what? They wanted, oh. me, to, they wanted me to get you yesterday. I, oh. said, I said, no, nah, we wait until the wedding day. You I have me? been under so much pressure. <laughs> wow. I got, I got one more thing I got to ask you, baby. Yes. What is? What is the baddest? I'm talking about the baddest radio show in the land. The Steve Harvey Morning <laughs> Show. Hello? Hello, I'm trying to reach Keisha, please. Speaking, who is this? Hi, Keisha, this is uh, Mr. Roland Barnes, assistant uh, principal here at um, <laughs> Academy. Where your daughter uh, Aisha goes? Yes. What's going on? Is everything okay? Everything is kind of, uh, well, I, l let me be honest. It's not good right now. Uh, I wanted to call and actually have a uh, private conversation with you about Aisha. Oh, God. All right. Tell me. What's going on? What's going on with Aisha? Well, as you know, um, spring break is going to be coming up in March. You do yes. know that, right? Yes, I'm aware of that. Okay. She's looking forward right. to that trip. Uh, yeah. Well, we, we have a bit of an issue here. I have done some research, and I'm looking at all of the kids and how they're doing, how well they're doing with their schoolwork. And Aisha doesn't seem to be doing well as she should be, uh, uh, living up to the expectations of the academy. And what we're going to have to do this spring break is Aisha will not be allowed to take a spring break with the rest of the kids. We're going to need her to come into school. And there's several mm. kids that are are not going to be able to go uh, on spring break, and Aisha happens to be one of them. There's at mm. least 
40 to 50 kids that will be coming to school that entire week that spring break is, uh, the most of the kids are out on spring break. Damn. You have to be mistaken. I mean, my daughter's a straight age student. Uh, you sure no. you got the right Aisha? You can't. Um, no. there, she is actually the only Aisha at the academy, ma'am. And, um, I, you know, I, I've looked at her, her grades in the past. She's had some great, some wonderful grades in the past. And I don't know what's taking place this semester. Um, that she just seems to have dropped the ball. And what we want to do is, you know, keep these kids focused. As you know, you have to be accepted to be here at this particular school. So, you know, it leaves me no no other outlet but to, to have her come in, and we're going to buckle down and try to get them back on track. So I wanted to personally give you a call and let you know what's going on with Aisha here at the Academy. And we're, we're This we're is terrible. Back. This is yes, absolutely yes. terrible. I mean, we are here already in January, and I'm getting a call that my daughter's not doing good, and now you're going to tell me that she can't go on a spring break trip in March? Mm-hmm. If she, I mean, as far as I'm concerned, my daughter, straight A. Straight A, she's an amazing student. She does really hard work. She, she always looks forward to going to school, and I get a call today that she can't go in March? Well, I, I mean, I'm sorry. You've got to be kidding uh, me. I'm just saying going somewhere, a trip, or are you? Are you scheduled she's to She's going to on be a trip. Of... I'm not going anywhere. She's going on a trip. I'm giving her full permission to go on a trip. Okay. Well, unfortunately, I'm requesting that she's at school. So mm. they're, they're, I don't know if your trip costs you a lot of money or if you can get a refund, but I'm calling you, letting you know I need her there on March 11th in the classroom so we can buckle down and try to get her back on track. No, well, I'm telling you, I paid for the trip, and she's going on the trip. I'm sorry. And, no, and I don't, no, no, I don't no, appreciate sorry, this Ms. phone call because it's so late in the game. I'm sorry. She's going on the trip. No, Ms. Keisha, she's not going on the trip. Ooh. She is actually going to be coming into school, and she'll be there on March 11th from Monday through Friday. Now, I don't know who you're talking I'm, to. That's my child. I'm telling I'm her saying, she's going on the she, trip. But she's your child, but she's my student. And right now, all of my students are going to be that are that are not doing well in their in their classes are going to be there during spring break, and they're going to get their business together. No, now, no, no. What are you, what, you don't yell at me like you're reprimanding me like I'm a child. Okay, I'm, not rep- I'm, I'm telling not you now that you like a child. child. She's going on a trip. No, she's not going on a trip, and you're telling me what you're you're, you're trying to override my position, mm. and that's what's not going to happen. She has to be there. You might as well start looking for a refund because she's not going to not be there. So I need her there Monday through Friday of spring break so we can get her back on course. Listen, I don't know who the f*** you think you're talking to. I have the ultimate position over even you. That's my daughter. Mm. That's my daughter. I I get to tell you what I'm doing with her, and she's going on that trip. You're out of your f***ing mind. I have to not send my daughter on the trip. Sorry. It's not happening. I'm I'm telling you right now, she's not going on a trip. Now, oh, yes, the hell she I, is. Oh, oh, no, she's not. I'm going to speak with Aisha tomorrow and let her know that I, I have spoken with her. You're not going to tell my daughter a damn thing. Mm. I'm telling her she's not going on a spring break trip. You know why? Because her grades, they're not up to par. She needs to be more concerned about her grades and not going and hanging out and lot of gagging around wherever you're sending her. No, it's not happening. <laughs> I want all of my students with passing grades. I'm a 100% assistant principal, and all my kids pass. What, are you trying to convince yourself that you're important or something? Give me a break. You're like a baby. My daughter is going on the trip, and that's final. You hear me? Okay. You know what? I'll speak with Aisha tomorrow morning. At no, you're not. I, I, yes, I will. Now, here's the deal. I, I, I'll, I'll leave you this, Miss Keisha. If Aisha does not show up, Monday through Friday of spring break, then maybe you're going to have to find Aisha another school. You're threatening me now? You're threatening me. You're threatening to, what, kick my daughter out of school because of a spring break? If your daughter is not here doing spring break Monday through Friday, then she's going oh, to Oh, get the f- out of here. Get, please. I'd like to see you try that sh-. Give me a break. Miss Keisha, I think this conversation is over. My next conversation will be with Aisha. Guess what? She's going on spring break. She's staying in the school. If you do something about it, I will have people picketing outside your, your school. You're t- talking about nonsense. My daughter does great in school, and she's going on a trip, and that's it. Aisha will be in school Monday through Friday, go on spring break, get oh, on the break, back the ball. Who are you be. talking to? Who are you yelling at like that? Are you out of your mind? I swear to God, if I was over there, I'd kick your ass. What the Damn. F- is wrong with you? Yo, you're out of control. Help your daughter with her whole 
fuck up. Who the fuck are you talking to? Oh. You know what? You know what? You know what Aisha told me about you. Do you know what Aisha what? told tell me? Tell me. What did she tell you? She told me to prank phone call you. This is nephew <laughs> Tommy. From the Steve Harvey Morning Show, Keisha. Oh my Keisha, God! Your daughter Aisha got. <laughs> she got me. Uh uh. Mm mm. Okay, y'all. So that was it right there. I really hope y'all enjoy. Oh uh, man, the video right there. It was truly, 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 truly amazing. Um, as far as the pranks, um, I hope y'all enjoy those. I think I probably said that already. But other than that, y'all, um, I just want to let y'all know, like I said in the beginning of the video, is thank you guys so much for the love and support. I truly appreciate y'all taking time out of your day, you know, out of your whole day reacting to my videos. And it really means a lot to me. And I really hope that my videos help you, you know, help y'all throughout the day, especially if y'all going through like, you know, personal things, you know, in life. I really hope that my videos, you know, pretty much help help you all with that. But um, but yeah, but oh my gosh, these pranks is crazy. And plus I hadn't even heard heard of these before. That's crazy. Wow. But other than that, y'all, I want to say thank you guys so much for the love and support. Um, but other than that, uh, make sure you, um, uh, what the heck I'm trying to say. <laughs> make sure y'all hit the notification bell. So that way you don't miss out any videos like this. But other than that, y'all stay blessed, stay safe, and I'll see y'all next time, okay? Bye, and love you guys.